A wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium from one place to another. Now this has application to all types of waves, like sound waves, light waves, or even mechanical waves. It's important to know what is meant by a medium. In this case, a medium is a substance or material that carries the wave. For example, sound waves are carried through the medium of air particles, whereas the waves of an earthquake are carried through the medium of the ground. It's important to note that the medium transfers the energy of the wave, not actual particles. For example, if you shout at a person across an arena, there are not particles moving from your vocal cords to their ears. In fact, all of the particles between you and the person are only moving very slightly as the energy of the wave is transferred from particle to particle all the way from your vocal cords to the person's ear. So again, a medium transfers the energy of the wave, but not actual matter. There are two types of waves, transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves are where individual particles of the medium are moving perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave. For example, let's look at one type of wave from an earthquake. This is known as a S wave or secondary wave and is a transverse wave. The individual pieces of the ground move up and down as the wave moves to the right. This is a transverse wave because the individual particles are moving perpendicular to the direction of the wave's propagation. A longitudinal wave is a wave where the particle's movement is in the same direction as the wave propagation. In this type of wave, the particles are compressed and decompressed as the wave passes by them. Sound is a longitudinal wave and the particles in the air are compressed and decompressed as the energy of the sound wave moves through them. Let's look at a few important properties and definitions that help us to better understand and quantify waves. These key terms are wavelength, frequency, amplitude, and period. We will use a basic model of a wave to help us understand and see these definitions. Wavelength is the length or size of a wave, and it's typically measured from trough to trough or from crest to crest on that wave. Frequency is a measure of the number of waves that pass by a certain point in a certain amount of time. The most common unit of frequency is a hertz, and it's a measure of the number of waves that pass by a point in one second. For example, a sound wave might have a frequency of 440 hertz. That means there are 440 vibrations every second for that particular note. Amplitude is the maximum displacement from equilibrium, or the highest point on a wave. The period is the time it takes for a complete wave cycle to take place. The next two definitions are found on a standing transverse wave. They are node and anti-node. A node is a point on a standing wave where there's no displacement from equilibrium, whereas an anti-node is the point with the maximum displacement on that standing wave. Let's also look at a couple additional terms that apply to longitudinal waves, specifically sound waves. If we have a longitudinal wave that's produced by sound, we will have locations of a high concentration of air particles and locations with a low or very small concentration of air particles. These are known as compression and rarefication. The points of compression are where we have the maximum density of air particles, and rarefication is where we have the minimum density of air particles. And we can see how there are parallels between rarefication and compression and nodes and anti-nodes.